Hello. Hello. We are four headquarters. headquarters. And welcome to our home. Glad you could join us. We like to watch clips from great old horror movies. And we comment on what we see. Usually we're funny. Sometimes we're informative. Sometimes we just point out what should be common sense. Each episode is named after survival advice we learn from watching a horror movie. To make them handy for people who find themselves in the same situation. So sit back and relax. And let the show begin. We are watching the original 1968 movie, Night of the Living Dead. Directed by George A. Romero. It's about a group of survivors who take shelter in their building home when the dead return to attack the living. And how quickly order would dissipate as people begin the panic. The advice to survive a horror movie is lock your doors. Which makes sense by the end of the episode. Bullet holes and a sign are not very welcoming. They may be in redneck country. They ought to make the day. He shouldn't be smoking. It affects eye vision and the ability to run. They're going to have to move mother out here. It looks like Johnny's wearing a wedding ring. I believe you're right. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. After the Civil War, people favor rural cemeteries out of concerns for public health. You can judge a society by the way they treat their dead. Back on. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen. A radio is one of the best resources for disasters. Radio is not dead. Barbara should have worn pants and better shoes while walking around in the cemetery. At least she's wearing flats. I wonder what happened to the one from last year. The ancient Greeks began the tradition of flowers being placed on graves over 2,000 years ago. And it became popular in America after the Civil War and people all over the country began decorating the graves of more than 600,000 soldiers who had been killed. We googled it. Don't pens in your pocket tell everyone you're a nerd. He needs a pocket protector. Flashes of lightning in horror movies are symbolic for something frightening that will soon occur. According to National Geographic, People have a 1 in 700,000 chance of being struck by lightning in a year in the U.S. They're coming to get you, Barbara. That line has become famous for anyone who loves horror movies. And for people who like to torment anyone named Barbara. I can't see his eyes behind his glasses. I just focus on the reflection. It's like a view of another world through his lenses. A world that allows creatures to enter our reality. Reflections are not to be trusted. Look, there comes one of them now. I wonder if Barbara ever wishes she were an only child. She may just get a wish. The zombie has dinner right there. Why is he still interested in Barbara? He might be saving Johnny for a snack later on. There goes those very unsensible shoes. I hate going barefoot. Lock your doors. The capability of using tools to achieve a goal by a non-human shows advanced problem-solving skills. Or maybe he's just really hungry. He's very limber for a zombie, and relentless. He must be a fresh one. Drive safely. That's hard to do without the engine going. Run, woman. Survival advice we will hear again in other episodes. <laughs> Lock your doors. Grab a weapon. And be prepared to use it. Don't get animals on a wall, make a house a home. They're in redneck country, all right. The zombie seems to have stiffened up, but unfortunately, he's invited a few friends with him. Who knew zombies were so social? Lock, Lock your doors. doors. Snap out of it, Barbara. Women need to be strong in a crisis. Even more good additional horror movie survival advice. There are two of them out there. Have you seen any more around here? I can take care of those two. The fork in the road with every zombie movie. They're surrounded by a few of them. Do they barricade themselves where they're at, or do they go? My instincts tell me in this situation, they should just stay. It's night, there's no transportation, they don't know where they're at, and they have no supplies to bug out. These are some damn smart zombies. You have to watch George Romero's zombies. They may be slow, but they're sneaky. Lock your doors. And watch your back. That's a horror movie survival advice basic. Better be careful not to get zombie blood anywhere inside of you. Exactly. Splash zombie. Lock, Lock your doors. doors.
Locky doors. I think I saw some eye movement from the zombie. I thought he was dead. Well, as dead as a zombie can be. That zombie sure went up in flames very fast. The Flammable Fabrics Act was passed in 1953. Locky doors. Turn on the lights. I admit it. I'm a little afraid of the dark. There's a box of lifting tea bags. They could use a common cup. The clock on the mantel above the fireplace says the time is just before midnight, if it's working. Barbara and Johnny were at the cemetery at eight. Four hours have passed. The calendar on the wall says it's December 1966. But no one has marked off the days. These times may not be accurate. Yeah, this room looks pretty secure. I think we have different definitions of secure. He's doing the best that he can. Yeah, can Look at the ring on Barbara's finger. It looks like an insignia ring. Maybe from a college she attends? They did Ben's wearing a ring on his finger, too. It's a big stone. Possibly a sapphire. I will apologize. Why don't you just keep calm? Ben's not listening to you anymore, Barbara. You lost him. Men can only listen to women for six minutes before they switch off. She listened while he was talking. Well, men don't like overly emotional women. They shouldn't be hitting each other. I would never hit a woman. I'm glad to hear that. I would never hit a woman because every female I know can beat me up. Including your eight-year-old niece? Especially her. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air, day and night. A radio is one of the best resources for disaster. Radio is not dead. Eyewitnesses say they are ordinary looking people. Some say they appear to be in a kind of trance. The zombies aren't in a trance. They know what they're doing. They're just slow, but they're dangerous. Far more dangerous than the old Haitian zombies who obeyed their master. Be careful with fire. You sound like Sparky the Fire Dog. Lock your doors. I can't believe he's smoking. Hasn't he read the Surgeon General's warning? Nope, it wasn't passed until 1969. Zombies may be harmful to your health, but they have to get to you first. Cigarettes are definitely harmful. And there's no warning on zombies. They have seven in there. Grab a weapon. Ben heard you. I think it's sweet that he found shoes for her. They're it's just nice house shoes. She now. needs sneakers. It is happening. Lock, Lock the doors. doors. No Cooper's wearing an unusual wedding band. And all the men are wearing watches. Didn't women need to know the time in the 60s? Look. The cellar. The cellar, there's only one door, right? Just one door, that's all we have to protect. I'm on Team Ben and Tom's side. There is no way I could handle being locked up in a cellar. I think someone is claustrophobic. He's wearing a ring on his hand, too, but it's not a wedding ring. Long hand. Tom, don't you think it's time to settle down? Stay away from windows. Good advice he doesn't seem to follow. They finally learned how to kill a zombie. Shoot it in the head. I didn't know zombies ate bugs. Maybe she's on a diet. Now, get the hell down in the cellar. You can be the boss down there. I'm boss up here. Can't believe these guys are fighting like this when everyone needs to get along to survive. Men often fight over power and control. Finally, a woman smart enough to wear a pair of pants. Judy should have worn better shoes. Smoke break. 42% of people in the 1960s smoked. There's a healthy decision. Throw those cigarettes away. She all right? I don't know what it is. She feels warm. It's hard to quit when your spouse still smokes. There's another woman not dressed for a time of emergency. Woman put on a pair of jeans and some sneakers. Women were wearing pants by the 1920s. When a woman plays with her wedding ring and she looks troubled, it means she regrets the bond of marriage. When a man does it, it means he plays with his partner's feelings and doesn't care about her. And someone else addicted to cigarettes. It usually takes 8 to 11 attempts to stop. One more for the road. Maybe the horror movie survival advice should be stop smoking. The reporter reminds me of a young Walter Cronkite. Once voted the most trusted man in America. Look, you go down there and tell you know, Judy. I can't say anything. I'm bad with names, too. Same here. 
We need some bottles or jars to make Molotov cocktails and hold them off while we try to escape. A Molotov cocktail is coined by Finnish people to attack Soviet tanks. It means a drink to go with the food. We googled it. After you toss the cocktails, you hustle back down here and lock this door. It's no good to board it up because we'll have to get back in quickly. Ben should be leery of Cooper acting so agreeable. I wouldn't trust him. Hey, listen. Remember when we had the big flood? Remember how difficult it was for us to convince you that it was right to leave? Country people are afraid to leave their homes in times of disaster. They assume they can survive what's happening. Look at the zombie wearing a tunic. I can't take my eyes off the guy in his boxer shorts. Run fast. Well, if you're coming, come on! Ben told her that in a more polite way. There's a zombie wearing a wedding band. This is a very ringy movie. Come on, come on! I take the gun! I can't believe they just died because Judy couldn't get loose. What a stupid reason to die for. It reminds me of the old song, Last Kiss. It's kind of romantic. I spot a zombie with dark eyes and blood running down his mouth. That's how bad zombie movies make the creatures look. Lock, Lock your doors. doors. Cooper finally pitched in to help Ben. Yeah, but he took his good old sweet time about it. Zombies might be afraid of fire. But they love a good barbecue. Oh my god, how'd she get hurt? One of those things grabbed her. Bit her on the arm. Oh no, they better watch the kid. Children usually don't survive so well in horror movies or any disasters. And there's your favorite zombie. I just love his pinstripe shorts. This at all the radiation detection stations. Generations of people who lived through the 50s and 60s were raised with a fear of radiation and nuclear bombs. It peaked in 1962 during the Cold War. We Googled it. Our news cameras have just returned from covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls. Is there a difference between a zombie and a ghoul? Zombies are the walking dead and ghouls are demons. Have you ever noticed that journalists pop up a lot in horror movies? Nice to know I'll survive in a catastrophe. Me too. I see a guy with a camera. Journalists are needed to relay information. And to keep the story going for the audience. Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. Those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. The zombies were probably trying to hide. I can't help but feel kind of sorry for them. So long as the heavy rain... Did the zombies turn off the electricity or did it just go off? I wouldn't put it past the zombies. They're sneaky. Look, another zombie wearing a ring. Even zombies need to accessorize. Watch your back, Ben. That's a horror movie survival advice repeated twice. Ben was just waiting to shoot Cooper. I thought his wife would kill him first. I know a series she could watch if she wanted to learn how to do it and not get caught. You need to cut back on your investigation discovery watching. Mrs. Cooper probably got what she had been wishing would happen for years. Mr. Cooper died first. One more reason not to have children. When they turn into zombies, they eat you. Too bad you weren't an only child, Barbara. Technically, she was through most of this movie. Is that zombie triplets? Because he is everywhere. Look where you're going and not where you've been. Symbolic for good life advice. Lock, Lock your doors. doors. I'm sure Ben doesn't mind shooting Cooper again. The only silver lining in the zombie apocalypse so far. They're shooting all the zombies they find. They may kill your favorite one. They better not. I'll be mad. Keep your door locked, Ben. Don't go out. It won't end well for him. All right, Vince. Hit him in the head. Right between the eyes. If only Ben had listened to our horror movie survival advice and locked his door, then maybe he would have survived. I doubt that. The only black man in redneck country had too much to overcome. We will miss you, Ben. That's the end of our show. We hope you enjoyed spending time with us. If you want to see the entire Night of the Living Dead movie, be sure to revisit Reflecting Moon Channel on YouTube. Because it is just amazing. We, we are horror necklers. Be sure to come back and visit us. Goodbye. Developed through Reflecting Moon Production Company. Company.